<laughs> What's up, guys? Oh, wow, this thing's gonna die real quick. It's the Auto 666 here. I'm gonna share a little bit with you. Shoot the shit. I have no idea if this is even gonna make it. We'll see. I'm just here in the studio. I'm gonna do some, uh, some auditions, chill, get some stuff done. I wanted to talk with you guys, let you know what's up. I know this light's not the best, it's a little pocket flashlight, doing what I can here. My car broke down, can't dash, can't make money, doing what I can. I, I know I'm not alone in being scared out there, so I wanted to talk to you and just reassure you, like, together we can get through this. Like, just, you gotta believe in yourself. I've been writing as many people as I can, trying to figure out what can I do to get further in voice work, and they all say the same thing. Grind, grind, grind. I'm listening. I'm here, and I'm doing it. And I love it. And I think the thing is, everyone expects shit to be handed to them. But I really... When you hit a certain point in voice work, they didn't just magically make it, dude. They just... I think they did what I, I'm doing, which is just told themselves... Where's the loss? Even if I don't make enough money to pay the bills right now, I'm still doing it. I'm here. I'm... I know what I need to do. I know how to do it. it. I've got great friends that have helped me and given me coaching and tips and... Thank you all. You know, like people I never thought would respond, responded. It's just... Thank you. I want you to know, don't give up just because other people say you can't make it. It's usually... When people do that, they're reflecting themselves, dude. They, they don't have an issue with you making it. They have an issue with you making it because they didn't. Understand that. Like, do what your heart tells you. Because you only live once, you know? Especially now. Everything's so shit out there. you got to have something to believe in. You've got to find something you love. And please, if you want something streamed, let me know. I've been having... Uh, I'm trying to like, say this in, in the nicest way possible. I've been having moral issues, dude. Like, morale issues. Like, why the fuck should I stream? I fucking tried my ass off with Odin Sphere. No one cared that I wrote those jokes. No one would even fucking watch it. And I was just like, I'm not mad at you guys for having a life. I'm just... It doesn't seem like it's worth the effort sometimes. So, I'm jumping around and you're gonna fucking learn. I'm, I'm not doing the free stuff anymore. I, I want... You guys to make this something together. I want you to say, dude, play this game. Let's do this. That's what I want. That's all I want. That's all I've ever wanted. And I hope people understand and appreciate that. And I'm going to keep doing the best I can. If people want tips and tricks on this, let me know. Uh, my dad started doing the Stay Fresh stuff. So I'm going to tell you right now, if people want cooking tips and shit, let me know. I'd love to teach you guys some stuff. I'm, I'm having a blast doing a bunch of new things and... I don't know where this channel is going to go, but I'm excited. I like adventure, dude. I don't like doing the same shit all the time. So, <laughs> excuse me, I just fucking ate. <laughs> Which is terrible when you're about to jump into the studio. Oh, well. Luckily, most of the stuff I do is reading. The one that I was doing the audition for was like, your audience is three to nine. I'm like, I'm just going to talk to it like I do my drunk father. <laughs> if I get that, I'll let you know, because that would be pretty funny. But that's actually a serious tip for you guys if you live with alcoholic or like semi-abusive family members a good trick to work with them they're reflective if you go in there negative they pick up on that shit and they get furious if you go in there <laughs> I'm not kidding you it works I don't know why it works it actually works with people in real life that aren't drunks like people like to be happy dude and <laughs> when you're pissed off, they tend to be too. I've I've tested this shit at work. Like, my old job that I had. Women would stare at me so long that if I would pretend I was mad, they would get mad. I, I don't know why humans are like that, dude. We're connected in ways... One day science is going to find out, but till then... I'm telling you, we're connected in ways. Like, how many times has it been that you're just standing there and you're like... And you know someone's looking at you. And every time you do it... Someone was. How do you explain that? How is that possible? We're connected in ways we don't know about. I think we're going to find out so many things about life. It's going to be insane. But thank you guys for watching. Have a lovely day. I just wanted to make something, man. I want to let you know that I didn't forget. 
I put that Tokyo Kronos thing up, but to be honest, it's... Eh. I tried to make it fun, I don't really know how to. It's a really weird idea. VR with a visual novel. It's an interesting idea, but... I don't control settings, so I don't know what you hear. I don't know if it's super loud for you. I don't know if I have to read it to you. It's VR is so it's a it's a weird beast, because I've had it to where the games are impossible to hear, and I've had it to where they're so loud, and there's no control for me because I'm on a PlayStation. But I just want you guys to know, like, believe in yourself. You know, I can't believe how supportive the acting community is. I really can't. I don't think I've really had like a a pretentious person yet, and I've talked to some big people in Hollywood. Like, they're really cool. They're helpful. I, I just, I'm having a blast. I, I don't see a loss here. I mean, I'm not making steady pay, but that's my fault. I didn't keep feeding it. You gotta keep fuck. It's a job. You gotta keep marketing. You gotta keep your shit out there. I stopped for a while because uh, I had a couple bad clients, and I mean, they were really fucked up asshole clients, and I ended up writing, happened actually at the same time, two different sites, two different people from two different parts of the world, complete dickheads, because everybody wants everything free, basically they don't care about your time, and the one guy was like, well, I approved it once, but now my ass itches today, and I don't feel like approving it, so I fucking wrote ACX, I'm like, how can this idiot do this? You're going to tell me writers can just automatically extend shit just because they're in a bad mood? That's a terrible idea. And sure enough, they, they wrote me back and they're like, this isn't common practice. He already agreed to it, and they told him the deal, and he's, he's not happy, but I won that one. Why the hell do people want everyone to work for free? What the fuck is wrong with people? And the other guy, I'm trying to even remember what that was. He was just an asshole. He was just harassing people. And I swear to God... I was watching Funny Guy Timmy, someone else. I swear he went around treating other people the same way. I reported that motherfucker. I hope he gets in trouble. Client or not, you can't treat people like that. Fuck you, dude. Stupid ass people. It's like they forget this is a service. We're providing a service and we're... Look at all we had to. We have to learn how to deal with this shit. We have to learn mic techniques, buy the mic, buy the computer. It's like th this is a fucking service and value your time. I don't, I'm not going to tell you what to price yourself at, but make sure your shit's worth your time, because otherwise you're not going to be able to pay your bills and you're just going to give up. I, I, I want to help people. Like I said, I, I might start doing some stuff myself soon here, but I'm just starting to get into character work and I'm excited. So you guys have a lovely day. Like I said, I'm going to keep doing these vlogs as long as you guys watch them and as long as I see likes on them. We'll see what happens, alright? Peace!